An attorney is a guide. An attorney is someone with knowledge, experience, and relationships. Those are the three things that you are gaining when you hire an attorney. Knowledge as to what law is, what are the elements of the offenses, what the state must have to prove. Experience is knowing those elements, how do they apply in real life, how to prove or disprove those in a trial, what strategies to use. But very importantly, it's relationships. And it's not because a judge is going to incur me more favor because they know me or a prosecutor is going to throw me a bone and dismiss the case because I asked nicely. That's not how it works. They still have a job to do. But what it does do, it allows you to know what to expect. If we walk into a courtroom and I see a judge that I know does not like domestic violence or a judge that's really, really hard on accident-driven DUIs, I might tell my client, this is not a good judge to be in front of. We don't want to have a trial here. Let's postpone the case. Let's pray a jury trial. Let's do something different. Also, there can be prosecutors that say, this prosecutor, they don't negotiate. They don't do this. They don't do that. And having the relationships and the experience and knowledge, not just a matter of can you do the case right, but is it going to be the best possible result because you have to know everything. An individual who tries to represent themselves has none of these things. And it's not a criticism. It's just a fact. They didn't have the benefit of going to law school, of getting the legal training. They don't have the benefit of having communicated with judges and prosecutors. They don't have the benefit of having tried cases. One of the biggest hurdles also is a prosecutor is not permitted to have a substantive conversation with a defendant. If an individual says, I'll do it myself, and they call the prosecutor's office, let's say a week before a trial date, and they say, I want to speak to my prosecutor. Here's my name and case number. They'll ask you, and who are you, sir? Or ma'am. And you say, well, I'm the defendant. Their response is going to be, we can't talk to you. Uh, well, you have to have an attorney call on your behalf because we are prohibited from having conversations. And it's not because it's a personal policy. Ethically speaking, a prosecutor should not have conversations at length like that with a defendant as there may be allegations of improper influence, intimidation, and just to make things clear and by the book, they don't have conversations. An attorney can be the spokesperson. They don't have any such restrictions. Sometimes you have an individual charged with, let's say, assault or robbery or burglary. As a, almost always a condition pending the trial, the individual defendant is not permitted to speak to the person. Go back to the place. I have no such restrictions. I can call a victim in a crime. I can call a victim of domestic violence. I can call a victim of a robbery. I can have an investigator go and speak to the victim of a burglary. And there's nothing wrong with that because I'm doing it in a legal defense and capacity. And in fact, it properly should be done. They don't necessarily have to talk to me, but I need to have the ability to do so. And I have the right to do so. A defendant can do none of those things themselves. That's why it's so important. Technically speaking, an individual can go to trial and represent themselves. If a judge finds a person has knowingly, intelligently, and voluntarily waived the right to counsel, they can represent themselves. But there's an old expression. An individual who chooses to represent themselves has a fool for a client. It's an old expression we have, and I certainly would never do it myself, and I don't know any attorney who does what I do that would do it as well. If they came to the pact or the point of their lives where, for whatever reason, they were on the receiving end of charges, they would find somebody to represent them, even having the knowledge, experience, and relationships of the field, even they wouldn't do that.